Chapter 1. The Alien Memories Surface The majority of human beings on Earth today tend to think that aliens and extraterrestrials are to be feared. They look different, act differently, show emotion in different ways, or the lack of emotion. Since they seem to be different, they cannot possibly understand humans. Therefore, they must be evil and coming to Earth to harm us in some way. This is normal human logic. We always fear what we don't understand. But this book will expose how this concept is basically false. We've been conditioned to think this way through science fiction movies and literature that we have been exposed to all our life. Even UFO investigators have focused on presumed negative qualities of the cases. In the last several decades, TV shows and movies like Star Trek, E.T. the Extraterrestrial, Close Encounters, are trying to present a more positive picture. In my work, I have discovered they are more like us than different from us. This is because we have all been aliens in other lifetimes. We are all extraterrestrial, because none of us originated on the planet Earth. This is merely a temporary stopover. Compared to the enormous age of the universe in which we live, the Earth is a relatively young planet. Thousands of other worlds throughout the galaxy have been peopled, and were evolving for millions of years before our planet reached the stage when it cooled down enough to support life. The advancement of other civilizations and cultures in the far reaches of our universe is so incredible that it cannot be imagined by our mortal minds. Thousands of worlds have been born and have died before ours was even conceived. Our eternal soul is immortal. It has been around forever and it will continue to be around forever even after the demise of this small planet. Thus, it is logical to say this has not been our only home. Through the process of reincarnation, we have all lived on other planets and in other dimensions, and we will continue to do so after our lessons on Earth have been completed. Earth is merely a school, one of many in our long education. When we leave here, we hopefully graduate to another grade, Otherwise, we have to come back and repeat lives, or classes, until we have learned the lessons. The terms old soul and young soul are often used in connection with spirits incarnating on earth. An old soul is considered to be one that has had many earth lives. A young soul is one that has recently decided to come to earth. They may have lived many other lives on other worlds and just recently decided to accept the unique challenges and limitations of our world. Our wonderful planet Earth is unique because it has been granted free will. It also is one of the few left in our galaxy that still experiences violence and war. A soul coming here has to be prepared to learn harsh lessons of how to cope with others of a violent nature and of how to experience emotions. The emotions on Earth are much stronger than on other worlds. There is pain and suffering here that would never occur in other realities. On some worlds, emotion is not known or understood. This explains the curiosity of some alien species who are observing our culture. It is difficult for them to understand how human beings can harm each other so callously. By incarnating on this world, we have agreed to accept the limitations the challenges, to experience emotions, and to learn lessons. It is not easy, because the lessons are often tremendously harsh, but the rewards to the soul's growth are tremendous. Once the soul comes to earth, it is caught up into karma. Then the soul must continue to come back until all of the incurring debt has been paid. Even alien spirits, or as I prefer to call them, the star children, know the risk they are taking by incarnating here. They cannot escape being caught up into karma because they are interacting with human beings. They know the risk before coming into the human body, but many of them have agreed to accept the challenge because they know that Earth needs help. This help will most likely come from these gentle souls that have never experienced hate and violence. They are the infusion of new blood, that hopefully will turn our world away from violence and lift it into the new vibration, the new world that is to come.